Hi guys, and today I want to talk about my new camera. I finally got it. I finally got a new good camera. I'm so excited. I have no idea how to use it. Absolutely no clue. But so I don't really have much to say. I just hope that I'm in focus, that you can see me. I just wanted to try this out, like what I'm planning in with it and just overall being excited. So the camera that you're seeing here is the Canon EOS 700D, which if you know about cameras, cool. Like I said, I don't know anything about cameras. I know that a DLSR, that's the way you say it, is better. That's all. I just went on Amazon, I checked out some reviews and it seemed to be super good. There are, like, the price range goes just up, like, really expensive and, like, I don't want to have super fancy camera but I want to have a better one. And this seemed to be a good option. It was a bit more expensive because I wanted to have the one with the flip screen because it's way easier to film, especially filming art. You don't have to cram your head around and you see if you're unfocused, even though it's distracting. I had to flip it away because, uh, yeah, I see myself but in the wrong direction. It's a bit weird, but I think it's totally worth it. Yeah, I was saving up for this camera and, you know, I wanted this one and it was a bit more expensive and then it was 50% off on Amazon. The exact one I wanted, so I just grabbed it. There was only one left in stock and then it was progressing, not a progressing, processing, that's how you call it. And yeah, for the longest time I didn't know if I had it or whatever happened to it and then it arrived. I expected it to be here in January and it's December. It's, it's pretty amazing. So I'm just pumped. I'm really, really excited to start filming and just see how it goes. Well, almost. I had to order a tripod because I don't want my new camera to fall down. It's not gonna happen. And until now, I was just filming on top of like a stack of books and it was fine, like really, but like especially recording art, security. Safety first. Now the reason why I wanted to have a better camera was not because this camera, which was my camera before, was bad. Like for booktube videos, I think it's fine. You do not need to have fancy pantsy cameras. Like I think it's all about the content, how you want to do it. Definitely. Like I could have been fine just with this one. It's the Canon IXS. Probably not right set. Here's how it's called. Yeah, it was fine so far, but I started doing art videos and I'm really, really interested in doing that. And this was just not okay. This is not how I wanted it to be. And I was in this, I don't say dilemma, but I didn't do art video because I didn't have a good camera. And I thought I couldn't have a good camera because I didn't do art videos. You know what I mean? Like, it was either one or the other. And I knew, I was at first like, I can't have a good camera because I, I'm not like a big YouTuber. I don't do big videos. Why should I have a good camera? But I wanted to have a good camera because I wanted to make better content. Does that make sense? Basically, I want to create better content. Now, I know it's not going to happen overnight. There is many, many ways you can do this and like it's going to need practice and time and knowledge, which I absolutely don't have. But I'm self-taught everything, you know, I told myself how to do art and all these things and I'm pretty positive with all the things that are on the web, on YouTube, I will figure out how to use this camera. It's daunting right now, it scares me, I have no idea, but I'm pretty positive that I will get the hang of it. I especially want to give more attention and effort to my art. Right now I just do it as a hobby and of course it will stay as a hobby, but I wanted to put it more worth into it and so if I want to like make better videos, if I want to, you know, how I will do it or like materials or if you've seen sketchbook adventures, which I really like. I want to create the whole thing. I really love watching videos who have like a theme or, you know, all the background and the music and just the shots and I love seeing that. I really want to do that too and again, it will need time, it will need practice, I know it's not just gonna happen. But I'm really willing to try it and I want to like put myself out there as an artist on YouTube and maybe even on Instagram. In fact, I'm even thinking about doing another channel, like starting fresh and just doing it, I don't want to say proper, but like putting a lot more thinking and like a lot more effort into it. And it's not solid, it doesn't mean that I will abandon this channel, of course not. This channel will still be like regular book talks and like me randomly and I, I don't put too much effort into my booktube videos, like if I have time, I like doing them, 
there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I mean, I haven't decided yet. I'm still thinking about it. And if you have any input and thoughts on it, then please let me know. Should I start a new, should, or should I separate my art and my books, or should I put it on the same channel? Because I do think it's a unique touch if I have both. And of course, if like I have something bookish related for my art, then I can put it on my booktube channel. But like, I want to create something else instead of my book. These are just some thoughts that I've been having and I'm just generally very excited to start using this camera. Just, oh my god, it's so cool. Like, can you see the quality? It's so good. Like, I haven't recorded an art video yet, but it's gonna be so, so motivating and just so good. Obviously, the camera has a lot of other features too for photos and stuff, which, again, no idea. But I'm super excited. So I'll see you soon in another video. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.